Peter, welcome to Take It Work. Thank you. Now we're here at the finals of the Expo for Young Scientists, which has been around since the 1980s, 1980 to be exact. And ESCOM has been involved since uh, 2000, of course, 14 years. What has been the synergy or what is the synergy between an event like this and ESCOM? Well, for ESCOM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics and innovation is incredibly important. Because these children or these learners are our future employees and the future employees of many organizations in South Africa. So for that reason, ESCOM supports this and supports the, the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists um, for the last 14 years. Now we've heard and seen the international statistics and they're usually very dire when it comes to the ranking of South Africa's maths and science literacy. But I just look around me at some of the talent here today and I don't understand that. Where is the disconnect between something like this and the so-called rankings? Well, I can't comment on the international studies, but I feel the same way that you do. I think that if you look at the 600 odd children that are here today, they are incredible. Um, I, I'm afraid to ask some of them questions because I'm worried um, I won't understand what they answer. But um, if you look at our participation, um, for instance, at, at the International Science Fair in America, of 52 countries and 1,800 learners that participated, South Africa walked away with four prizes. So I don't think we have any reason to stand back for any international competition. I think we have some of the brightest minds in, in, in South Africa, and they are here today. And as I mentioned earlier, of course, this is the finals, but talk to us about the process, the regional uh, sessions you had, and how many children were whittled down to this group right here? Well, we start off in 34 regions across the country. So in some provinces, they have three or four regions. 17,000 children participated in the regional competitions throughout South Africa um, to get to the international finals here today. Uh, well, actually over three days. And then from this, 600 children, a number of children will be selected to represent South Africa in international science fairs across the world. Peter, talk to us about some of the success stories that have come from the Expo over the last few years. Well, one of our biggest success stories, and we always like to use him as an example, is C.R.B. Leila, who um, was selected to represent South Africa at Nobel Week. And South Africa is the only country that is allowed to send children to Nobel Week on the African continent. And at that, um, at Nobel Week, he met up with a professor from Harvard, who then organized for him to study at Harvard through a bursary. And today, Sia Bulela is a rocket scientist, and he's one of our success stories in South Africa. Just as an end thought, what is ESCOM's hopes and aspirations for this event going forward? Well, absolutely. Um, you know, South Africa, cannot, South Africa cannot be an island of prosperity, so we have to look at our neighboring countries. So our vision is to build this into an African science fair that can participate on the world stage equal to any, everybody else in the world. Well, Peter, we look forward to seeing that. Thank you very much. Thank you.